Hello and welcome to the Focal Point PowerPoint tutorial. Along with this quick intro, this is a three-part series on the basics of how to best work with your PowerPoint template. To begin, download or save the template file to your desktop, or better yet, a folder you've created for your project. The first thing you should always do after opening the file is save as and rename it, which will preserve the template file in its original state, and that'll come in handy later. I'm going to name my new file with a sample case name and give it a version number. You'll notice the file extension is PPT. We are working in PowerPoint 2010, which can also have the extension PPTX. However, we will save it as a .PPT, which will allow it to be accessed by older versions if necessary. We'd encourage you to take some time reading through the embedded instructions in the template file, which has some really handy information regarding styles and formatting. But for now, you're ready to create your slides. As you can see, the template has lots of different styles of text-based slides to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and delete the instruction slides I don't need, again, only doing so after I rename the file to preserve the original template, and create a simple cover slide. If you've worked in PowerPoint before, you probably know that there are several views you can select to view your slides. The normal or default view is handy for seeing any notes, the pane of thumbnails on the left, and the slide you're working on in the stage area. The slide sort of view is handy for viewing several slides at once, and this slider down here changes the size. Probably the most important view selection is slideshow mode, which is used for your presentation. Keystrokes can also be particularly useful in PowerPoint. F5 will start your slideshow from the beginning, and if you want to see what the slide you're working on will look like in the slideshow mode, press Shift and F5. That's it for the intro. In section one, we're going to cover fonts, bullet points, and rulers. Section two will cover creating text polls. And section three will cover additional tools to help you get the most out of PowerPoint.